welcome back. Here we are again inside the Subaru for yet another video. And I also want to welcome all the new followers here to this channel. Apparently that last video I put out did pretty well, brought a bunch of new folks here into the channel. So I appreciate you coming along for the journey. My name is Billy. I'm the team photographer for the Boston Red Sox. And I'm also a commercial photographer here in Boston. So I think you'll like what you see on this channel. You came to the right place and you came just in time for one of, if not maybe the biggest day of the year as a Boston Red Sox team photographer. And that is truck day. You may be wondering what truck day is. Well, Truck day is the day where we are going to load all of our camera gear, all of our camera equipment into this big old truck that's gonna head down to Fort Myers, Florida for the start of spring training. So I'm heading into Fenway Park right now. Today we're going to be packing up all of the photography gear, all of the photography equipment that we need for another spring training season and the start of the 2021 Major League Baseball season. And I thought this would be a cool opportunity to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes look at what this process is like. I'm gonna show you all of the gear that we're bringing down and kind of what it takes to prepare for a Major League Baseball season from a team photographer perspective. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Cold, snowy, kind of gloomy day here right now, but warmer times ahead down in Florida. Oh. Thank you. Truck day. Welcome to the office. There's nobody here, as you can see. It's kind of this weird post-apocalyptic world that we're working in right now. We've been in here somewhat regularly to shoot here at the ballpark, but right now this is pretty much completely empty and this is how it's been during COVID times. So kind of a weird experience being here without all of our coworkers here, but we're here, we've got all this photo gear that we've got to get organized and packed and brought downstairs to the truck. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in this truck and I actually have the list right here. So it says here, 20,400 baseballs, 1,100 bats, 200 batting gloves, 200 batting helmets, 320 batting practice jerseys, 160 white game jerseys, 300 pairs of pants, 400 t-shirts, 400 pairs of socks, 20 cases of bubble gum, 60 cases of sunflower seeds and what they forgot to mention was a ton of camera gear all right so i guess let's just start with lighting so i think what we need to do is like pack this bag because this still has room to go as far as the light stands and all that stuff These are all of our lighting modifiers here. So we have soft boxes, grids, umbrellas, everything that we need for photo day going into this little baggie right here. So we're about halfway done here. We've got pretty much all of our lighting gear sorted out and ready to go. All of our backdrops, we've got about five or six different backdrops here that we anticipate using for photo day and other various portraits, things of that nature with the players. Got all of our light stands, C stands, boom stands, pretty much all the light stands we need for any sort of creative setup that we're gonna be doing. And then over here, a couple different lights. We got four pro photo lights here going down. We'll have more that we rent for a couple other shoots. And then inside these bags are basically all the modifiers we would ever need. So any soft boxes, strip boxes, umbrellas, anything like that that we're putting on our lighting is all in here so that's about half of it okay now the fun part we've actually gotten into the actual photo gear this is the stuff you probably are all excited to see so shout out to nikon for hooking us up with all of our stuff so yes that is a mirrorless in there that's the z62 some mirrorless lenses in here so 70 to 200 35 14 85 14 we've got the ftz mount adapter and then we get over to this side this is more of the dslr lenses that we're bringing down so we've got two telephotos in here we have the 200 to 500 which is a good kind of push pull lens for on the go sports action and then the two to four f4 one of our other go-to lenses for shooting game action. Got another 70 to two in here for remotes that we'll probably use. 
And then a couple primes over here. Looks like an 85, 35, or 24. And this is another 35 mirrorless. A couple chargers. This bag has pocket wizards and cables that we need for remotes and a couple more chargers right here. And then we still have two more think tanks full of stuff. So these are our own personal bags that we are going to fly down with rather than send on the truck just in case we need to shoot anything here in Boston for the next two weeks. But again, loaded up with stuff. So I've got three D5s in here right now and some various lenses. So it looks like this is a 300 F4, 35 Prime 1.4, 105 1.4, 16 to 35 and 24 to 70. Got a 70 to 200 under here and a speed light. So that's staying with me and I will fly down with that as my carry on. And then Maddie right here hooked up with a bunch of other stuff. A couple more D5s, 70 to two. Looks like a 300, 16 to 35, 24 to 70 a speed light. Another body going in there soon. not okay the amount of stuff we have way too much stuff quite exciting we found this laundry cart right here so I think we're gonna commandeer that and uh, start loading stuff in about three hours is way too long but uh, we got everything down so now it gets loaded onto the truck Maddie good work Stuff's loaded on, so truck's leaving now. There it goes. And there you have it, folks. Another thrilling, and yes, I do mean thrilling, truck day here at Fenway Park. And that's it for our gear. It is gone, it is on the truck, out of sight, out of mind for the next two weeks. We will reunite with all of our equipment once we get down to Florida and begin shooting yet another Major League Baseball season. So hopefully you guys found this video enjoyable, kind of a behind the scenes look at the gear and equipment that is involved with starting to shoot another Major League Baseball season from a team photographer perspective. But if you have any questions about anything you saw in the video, please do drop it in a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you like what you saw and you wanna see more, please subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more coming your way in the next couple of weeks as we start a brand new season. I'll check back with you at the next one. <laughs>